Hey guys, welcome back to the 4x2 Wagon Family Garage. And today we are talking about air deflation. So one of the most important things you guys can do if you guys are getting into off-roading is understanding the concept of deflating your tires so that you have a very comfortable ride um, on your vehicle, your body, and two, it gives you a ton of traction. Uh, if you guys are going really off-road, like uh, maybe on the snow or sand, gravel, potholes, things like that, for service roads, OHV trails. So a lot of those trails are not smooth like a, like pavement, right? So if you, I'm sure most of you guys been down a bumpy gravel road with a lot of washboards. By deflating your tire, uh, it gives you a much smoother ride. It'll make your car or truck feel like you have a really high-end suspension um, under your, your, your chassis. So deflating your tire does absorb a ton of vibration and bumps and just easier on everything. Okay, so let's just say, for example, your tire's at 35 pounds and you wanna go off-road. Um, most common uh, pounds that people will run off-road is around 20 for beginners, okay? So to get to, to 20 pounds, there's several ways you guys can do this. And, and as you guys can see right here, there's one, two, three, four, and five. And I'll go through each one of these and show you a demonstration once we get down into the tire down below. So this basically is a valve stem, okay? And this sits inside your wheel, right? So inside the valve stem, if you guys never, um, I don't know, change your valve stem before or service your valve stem, this is what it looks like. It's pretty standard. And it's in the valve stem, there's a little needle right here and it's, uh, it's got a bunch of other things going on in there. Basically, that little needle inside the, your valve stem is what holds the air in or pushes the air out. So uh, all you gotta do is take a pin and push that little needle in and you'll hear, you'll hear that pshhh, okay? So I've seen people do this and I've done it one time and I did a video on this long, long time ago uh, showing you that if you guys get stuck in the snow somewhere, you guys can use actually a pin to let the air out and you'll be able to just walk right out of that situation just by deflating your air, maybe 10 pounds. It makes that big a difference. Okay, so first of all, we need to understand what the valve stem looks like and what it does uh, to really understand how all these tools work. All right, so let's take a look at this pin, for example, one that we first looked at, okay? So the valve stem's right here. All you gotta do is point, push the little tip out and push it in. Okay, simple as that. But the, the thing about this is that it's real pain in the butt. You gotta hold this thing steady so that it doesn't slip off that tip. But it's very effective if you have nothing else. All right, so let's look at number two, which is your air chuck, um, you know, majigger. So all you gotta do here is you can either push the side, uh, this little valve on the side um, that releases the pressure so it's at 32.9, you can do this. Or to go a little faster, you can just pull down the, the handle, okay? And this is okay too, but it's still a little slow because you got all these restrictions going on, restrictors going on in here. So more stuff that's in the way, the slower it's gonna be to get the air out. Does that make sense? Okay, and then, Number three is your rapid air deflator. So this one goes on your stem, line it up, and you wanna basically screw on to the valve stem, and that's what this first knob does. Sort of like that, nice and tight. And now we're gonna take this knob right here and turn it until it locks, because inside of this little valve stem right here is nothing more than this guy right here, the stem remover, okay? You wanna push it in when it locks. You wanna turn this kind of clockwise. And basically, you're gonna remove that valve stem inside, right? Once you've done that, you can pull this out. Oop, pull it out. And then this little slider right here, 
is what adjusts the airflow. See all the air coming out? And then when you stop it, you can see exactly how much air is left in your tire. So if you want a micro adjustment, this is really the best way to go. And that's why this is the most common method of deflating your tire. Okay, so when you're done, you just push this needle back in. You, you're screwing in that little valve stem on the inside of a valve. Okay, and then once that's tight, you wanna unscrew this off of your valve stem. So there's three parts to this, but once you practice, it's really simple and it's very effective. Let me get all this grease off of here. Okay. Now, for the auto deflator, and this is probably one of my personal favorites, only because it's less hands-on, it's less dirty, is all you do is screw it on. And it automatically deflates your tire. Okay? And then when you're done, when this thing stops making noise, you just pull it off, put it back in your case, put your valve stem on, and you're done. So this is very, very handy. And these are cheap, these are about 30 bucks, okay? For four, and then maybe a little bit more for six of them. So now, my personal favorite is just remove the valve stem altogether and, and listen to the sound. So see how fast that thing worked? And then check your air and you're good to go. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little demo and just give you a better idea of what other tools are available to deflate your tires. And if you have any thoughts or comments, leave it down below and we'll get back to you as always. And also, if you guys wanna check out some of our other videos uh, regarding inflating your tires after you deflate it, uh, I'll leave a card right up here so you guys can go check that out and see our review on some on um, different air compressors. And I will also leave a playlist link at the end of this video. You can just click on it and see all of our air compressor reviews, uh, traction control reviews, because this is all, again, related to traction control. And um, so if you guys are new to this off-road world, go check that out. And hopefully all the videos that we are providing you guys are, you're finding it to be helpful. A um, Little bit of here and there. So anyway, just want to thank all of you guys for your years of support who are our current subscribers. I really appreciate that. And we will see you guys on the trail or in the next video. All right, so be safe out in the COVID world and God bless.